Here's my garage parking attendant sensor. Uh, I designed it using an Arduino, and I have a Arduino Micro or Mini or Nano, I guess they call it, right there. And it is uh, it has an input, um, which is right here that's actually hooked up to a switch on my garage door, I'll show that later, that uh, determines um, when to actually come to life, because this normally uh, sits off uh, when not in use. So it's sleeping at the moment, and uh, it just sits there and waits for 5 volts uh, to come from that switch to actually turn on the code, and then it runs the code for about a minute. Um, and the code uh, based upon a distance sensor here with a ultrasonic um, measurement uh, device. Uh, when the code activates in the Arduino, it will constantly, um, I don't know, a couple times a second, measure the distance to any object uh, big enough to reflect and make a determination on how far you are from uh, the ideal parked position. And uh, what it does is, I actually have right here a uh, three uh, transistors that power um, LED lights, uh, one red, green, and uh, one white. Uh, the white indicates that the Arduino is powered on and uh, running code, and uh, the green indicates measurements are being taken and you are to proceed closer to the ideal parking position. And once you've achieved the perfect parking position, the red LEDs uh, will then go solid. So this whole thing starts in my garage. Um, here's the vehicle, it's in its current park position. But the, um, the sensor on the garage door actually rotates the, the uh, axle that rotates and uh, counterweights the uh, garage door opening actually interferes, physically interferes with this switch. Okay, I'll press it right now. Which just triggered the Arduino on, which right there are my uh, LED arrays and I might have missed the white startup procedure, but right now it's indicating red, which means the vehicle is parked. Now, um, I can actually interfere this by me walking in front of the sensor, which will say that the vehicle's out of position because it's not within the ideal range. So this is a simulation of being outside of the garage and driving forward until you reach the perfect position, at which time the light turns red. Um, and that's all used on outputs from the Arduino to, uh, to actually give 12 volts to the LEDs because the LEDs are operate off of 12 volts um, and the Arduino doesn't output 12 volts so it just turns on the, the transistors um, and then flows 12 volts to the LEDs and after 60 seconds the LED shuts off and the Arduino goes back to sleep until the next time the garage door is triggered that is my garage parking assistant.